Hi, I'm sorry this is our first meeting, but I'm your neighbor. I just live here, at the right side of your place. Um, power just went out at my place, so I decided to see if anyone else was having the same problem. Oh, yeah. Look around. As you can see, the whole neighborhood's gone dark. Looks like it wasn't just my place that was affected. So, I wanted to, you know, check in. Just checking in to make sure you were okay. Oh, me? Yeah, I'll be fine. Just, uh, <laughs> a little wet. I should have thought about that before coming outside and checking. But it's fine. Should be okay. Uh, the blackout shouldn't affect me too much since I do have a bunch of flashlights. And I think I've got some spare candles too at my place, so I'll be good in terms of lighting. Don't know how long the blackout's gonna last, but if it lasts for too long, I do have a portable gas stove too. So if it takes too long and there's no gas and whatnot, I can always cook something up with that. <laughs> nah, I'm not always prepared. I think I just got lucky this time. I was planning on going on the camping trip, you see. So I got a bunch of equipment. <laughs> yeah, the camping equipment is strangely very helpful for blackouts. Though, actually, now that I think about it, I guess it makes sense since it's, you know, equipment for the great outdoors. Um. Well, what about you? If you ever need anything, uh, well, I'm just next door, so I'm more than happy to see if I've got anything that can help. Really? You've got nothing. Like, no candles or torches. Not even like, <laughs> I don't know, a glow stick? Uh, I guess that's fair. You did just move in. Can't exactly plan for a sudden blackout. Well, um, that's both unlucky and quite lucky of you then, since I've got everything that you could possibly need. So, um, if you don't mind, I could help you out. Me? No, no. I don't mind. It's okay. I'm completely willing to help. Um... You just sit tight, uh, I'll go see and grab anything that might be helpful for you, uh, and we'll see what goes on from there, yeah? Cool. Oh, uh, wait, actually, um, have you had dinner yet? No? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's good. Um, you mind if I just bring a couple of things to help with that? Yep. That portable stove, yep. Uh, so hopefully that will help with dinner. It will? Alright, cool. Uh, I'll be back in the jiffy, yeah? <sighs> Alright, well, I've got everything. Including... Ta-da! It's the portable stove. And, well, it's not much, but... Uh, I've got some instant ramen here, if you're interested. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. If you've got some of that in your kitchen, then it'll definitely boost the experience. Oh, and uh, here, catch. It's a flashlight. Should be fully charged. And uh, with that, we'll be able to navigate around your place a bit easier. And that should help with setting up these candles. Oh, don't worry about it. I've got plenty at home. It's no problem at all, so... Um... Here. Uh... Where do you want to put these candles up? Just around the living room? Yeah, uh, easy. Uh... You can have this batch and set it up on your side, and I'll see what I can do on my side, yeah? Cool. You know... As unfortunate as our neighborhood's current situation is, honestly, I'm kind of glad that this gave me a chance to actually introduce myself to you. I've been meaning to introduce myself for a while, ever since you arrived, but I just never got the chance.
<laughs> you too? Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. It's kind of hard sometimes, you know? Finding the right timing and exactly how you're gonna start a conversation with your neighbor when you first move in. So, I totally get it. I was the exact same way when I first moved here too. Yeah, I'm serious. I had so much trouble adjusting, but everything worked out alright. Actually, just like you, the neighbor to my right also introduced himself first. Uh, the Burleys. Have you met them yet? A sweet old couple, if you've never met them before. They even gave me some pastry as a welcoming gift. Seriously? <laughs> I guess they beat me to it. And I'm guessing they brought you some pastry too? Oh, you've got them there. Okay, that's great. Um, that's something else we can add to our improvised dinner later. But, man. <laughs> the Burleys are really nice, aren't they? Yeah. I ought to repair them someday for all the help they've done. To, well everyone in the neighborhood it seems yeah like I was saying before they introduced themselves to me first so it made my I guess move here a lot easier than it could have been <laughs> you have a point actually yeah in a sense, those two did inspire me to talk to you. Pretty interesting how things lined up like that, huh? <laughs> no, I don't think I could. I'm not that good when it comes to initiating conversations with new people. It's a little, I guess, hard. I'm just awkward like that, I guess. Oh, you feel the same way? Yeah. It's... It can be hard starting a conversation with someone new, but... Sometimes, you meet people like you. Where it feels quite easy to keep the conversation going. So, sometimes, I guess, it's pretty worth it. Taking that risk. Hehehe. <laughs> Well, I think this should be enough candles for the room. Should be safe to start lighting them all. Yeah, no problem. I've got a lighter here. And there we go. That should be all of them lit. Well, the room is visible now. Albeit with a bit of a gloomy orange light, but hey. At least we don't have to hold these torches anymore all the time. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a shame if we tripped on something because of these low visibility torches, but yeah, this'll do. Oh. <laughs> don't worry about it. I know. I guess that means you're hungry, huh? Oh, come on. Don't be embarrassed by that. My stomach makes lots of noises, too. Yeah, it's fine. Everyone does. It's just a biological thing. Well, that's our cue then. Uh, want to get set up for dinner? Yeah, no problem. I've got the butane gas for the portable stove too. It'll be alright. Oh, but one thing I would like is a pot. You have any idea where I can get one of those? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I assumed you had one. Um, just over here? Sure, sure, sure. Lead the way. Oh, look at that. Nice kitchen. Very neat and organized. Oh, yep, there's the pots. Uh, here, let me help you with that. Those are kind of heavy, aren't they? Whoa, hey, cat! <coughs> ah. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. I really I really didn't mean to my hand it, it was just instinct uh, no not instinct I mean 
reflex to stop the fall. Uh, but are you okay? You didn't hit your head, did you? <sighs> no? Okay, that's good. Uh, for a second, I thought I might have hurt you. Again, sorry. The cat just came out of nowhere, so... It surprised me when I almost walked over it. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of which, you didn't tell me you had a cat. Mr. Meow Meow? <laughs> That's a cute name. He certainly meows, doesn't he? Oh, right, right, sorry, I'll just get off you now. <sighs> uh, here, let me help you up. <sighs> there. Um, you all good? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just got surprised. I was trying so hard not to step on the cat, I accidentally lost my balance. Sorry for falling on you and, well, uh, y you know, my, my hand. It... Yep, cool, got it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll stop apologizing. Hmm? Hey there, little guy. Hey, I think he actually likes me. Oh, hello. Oh, look at you, you're so cute. Hmm? What's up? Really? Does he not usually like new people? If that's the case, then I must be like a cat whisperer or something. Or maybe he understood that what just happened is just an accident. Yeah, that has to be it. You look like a very smart one, aren't you, Mr. Meow Meow? <laughs> Maybe you even planned that like some cool wingman in an anime. Hmm? What's up? What's got you all giggly over there? The way I talk to Mr. Meow Meow? What? Surely you talk like... Uh, how do you explain it? Like... Like a tone as if you're speaking to a baby when you talk to animals. I, I don't know. <laughs> it just feels right to talk that way. No, I, th I think everyone sort of does that. Here, uh, have a conversation with Mr. Meow Meow right now. <laughs> uh-huh, see? You do it too when you speak to him. <sighs> This little guy must be so lucky, having such a cutie speaking that way to him. Hmm? What? Did I say something weird? Oh. Did I say cutie? Well, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to say it out loud, but I do mean it. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm sure you've looked at a mirror. And, well, if there's a definition on the internet for cutie, I think your image would be next to it. <laughs> you know, even in this poorly lit room, I can tell you're blushing. Say. Wanna make this a regular thing? <laughs> no, not the blackout. I mean, this. Us talking and just hanging out. Having a good time. Yeah. Sort of like a date, you could say. Yeah? You'd love to? Then that's good for me since not only will I get to play with Mr. Meow Meow, but I'd get to hang out with you too. Yeah. 
the cutie next door. <laughs> okay, I'll stop teasing you with that. Is that why I went to look for you first? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's part of the reason. Yeah. <laughs> You're really trying to get it out of me, huh? Well, yeah. I was... I was hoping I'd get to talk to you. Because... When I first laid eyes on you... I don't know. I just couldn't look away. So, in a sense, I guess I was hoping for something like this. Were you? <laughs> Ever since you watched me mow the Burley's lawn. Well, <laughs> that's an interesting way to first see me, but... Would you look at that? Didn't think you were keeping such a close eye on me. You couldn't help it too, huh? <laughs> I, I'm flattered, really. I guess tonight's brought us a whole bunch of blessings in disguise, huh? From this storm, to the power outage, and even Mr. Meow Meow practically tripping me over. If Cupid exists, then I'd say they're working really hard right now. Oh yeah, I think so. Like, that Cupid is working overtime to make the stars align like this. Mm-hmm. And I don't know about you, but all that work, I don't really want to let it go to waste. And I don't think we can let it go to waste. Now, can we? <laughs> then... I think we give him a show. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not all that good at kissing. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I've got anyone or anything to practice with. Mm. I don't know. Could have fooled me, sweetness. You know how to take the lead when you want something. Yeah. I can tell. Uh huh. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Meow Meow might be getting hungry. I guess that's our cue to hold this off for now. Aw, you're so cute when you're impatient like that. Don't worry, this isn't over. I think we can probably use this loud rain as an excuse to have some fun later. What do you think? <laughs> No, of course. The cat has to stay in the living room, though. Okay? <laughs> Come on. Let's hurry up and feed the overlord before Mr. Meow Meow goes insane. We can have some fun later. <laughs> 